What is up, awesome people? And welcome back to my Pokemon trading card game online card opening series. So in the last episode, we opened up, well, we started opening up the next Destiny booster packs that I had, and we managed to pull two secret rares with two shiny embers. Okay, so in this episode, we're going to continue opening up the next Destiny booster pack. So this should be fun, because we had a really good pull last episode with Kyrim EX and Zekrom EX as well, coming up in amongst the pulls. And some few other uniques as well, and... Oh wow, oh wow, oh wow! Speaking of uniques, um, we got Growlithe, Meowth, Growlithe Alternative Art, Shinx, Hippopotus, Curlia, Experience Share, we got Scraggy, we got Basculin Reverse Hollow, and you would not believe it, when I said unique, I wasn't expecting another unique to come out. We just pulled another secret rare just to top it all off. Oh boy, this is gonna be a really, really fun night. And I actually did not mean that sarcastically either. Um, we just pulled ourselves a shiny Zorak. Number 102 out of 99, so... From what I can remember, there is three secret rares in this series. So there is number 100, 101, and 102. So I already own Embor, which was shiny, and I now have Zorak, which is 102. Embor was 100, so I'm just missing 101 as of so far. So Zorak has 100 health, it's a dark card, evolves from Zora, which is a stage 1 um, Pokemon. Its move is Nasty Plot, which requires one dark energy card. Search your deck for a card and put it into your hand, shuffle your deck afterwards. Now that's actually really good um, being able to pull out the cards that you need. Kind of like Pokeball, but it doesn't need that flip of the coin. It's actually a lot better than the Pokeball um, item support card. Plus, you're not um, limited to just Pokemon. You're also um, allowed to pull card like cards like item cards, or stadium cards, or even trainers or supporters. Actually, that's a really good card. Um, I may even utilize that a bit later, too. And its other move is Foul Play. requires two energy cards of any type. Choose one of the defending Pokemon's attack and use it as this attack. Oh, wow, that's kind of like um, Mew's Replace. I think it was Replace or... Um, crap, I went up against it today, and it was really annoying, so I kept using... Well, they could have used, like, utilized the move a bit better, but they kept using another move and it was dealing some damage to me. But yeah, it almost works like that, but you can choose them from the defending side, so you can actually um, select their move if they've got a really good move and use it. But it also almost sounds like you don't need the energy cards needed for that move, unlike Mew. So that could be a hundred times better than Mew. Jesus creepers! Hmm, I'm, I might actually use that card a bit later. I need to use Embora as well. I may try and make a dual type deck using Dark and Fire. Who knows, I might actually pull it off. Anyways, um, opening up the next pack, we got Staryu, Pidav, Muna, Hippopotus, Growlithe, then we've got Jigglypuff, Great Ball, then we also have one of these, we got a Prism Energy, Emolga, Reverse Holo, and a Lucario. Now, I honestly thought we owned this card, unless I'm thinking of another collection, which tends to happen. They use the same artwork for a different collection. Okay, so Litwick, Pikachu, Vanillite, Hippopotus, Pansage, Frillish, Lampet, Double Colorous Energy Card. I'm loving how many of these I'm pulling at the moment. Um, like, as I said, these are great for t um, card deck building, too. Uh, Shift Reverse Holo, Yuck. And an Arcanine. I thought I had the normal one already, but I guess I didn't. I think I saw it spark a little bit. If not, I'm hallucinating. It's, get it's getting to that stage of the night again. And plus the medication might be kicking in. Um, we got Growlithe, Alternative Art, Growlithe, Vanillite, Sneasel, Pampore, Prism Energy, uh, Level Ball, Emolga, Reverse Hollow Starmie, and a Darn Mountain again in Zen for uh, Zen Mode. Not too sure if it's normal mode is in this deck or if it's in another deck. We'll find out. Um, Riolu, Chubchu, Bronzor, Cricketot, uh, Minfu, Scraggy, Jigglypuff, Ninshaw, Reverse Holo, Hippowdon, and Muck. Okay, we haven't pulled a un oh here we go. We got a unique. Um, Pharisee, Peter, Sneasel, Growlithe, Darumaka. Luxio, Silent, which is good having a couple of these. Mencino, Reverse Holo Grimer, and a Simi Seer. Now, I was just about ready to say, 
I don't have any uniques popping up, but this popped up, and to be honest, I don't know why that's saying new, unless this is from a different collection that I'm thinking of, but I've got the exact same card in my first deck, which was the um, Blaze Test, I think I called it. I think I changed it, there's another name now, but it's in the process of being modified, but that exact card is in that deck, so I don't know why it's saying new. Anyways, uh, Krigatot, Riolu, Chubchu, Grimer, Minfu, Arcanine, Heavy Ball, Pokemon Center, which actually isn't a too bad of a stadium card. You can use that actually. It's good for healing any bench Pokemon if you've got um, low retreat cost at the start of the game, or even late game that is handy, or you've got the Switch card as well. Pokemon Center and Switch card work very well hand in hand, especially underneath Heavy Siege Fire in a Pokemon battle too. Um, reverse Holo, Starmie, and a Luxray. I could have swore a poor Luxray, but maybe not a apparently I haven't. Okay, continuing on. Okay, we got Staryu, Pansage, Grimer, Luna, Seedot, Curlia. How is that saying new unless I've only just recently pulled it? Um, Luxio, Arcanine, then we got Raichu, Reverse Holo, and a Scrafty. I'm pretty sure that's alternative art, because apparently I don't own this one. I'm a bit iffy about some of the news that pop up, because I swear to god I've owned some of them. Like, example, that one. Um, Staryu, uh, Elegum, Pansia, Muna, Fungus, Emolga, Double Colorous Energy, Mincino, Reverse Hollow, um, Mushana, which is really cool because that's rare as well, and Arcanine. Sweet, 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 sweet. Okay, so no newies in this one. Blitzel, Litwick, Sneasel, Rolts, Darmaka, Silent, Lampet, Level Ball, Darmanitan, uh, yeah, Reverse, Hollow, and a Persian. Sweet. I've been thinking about using Persian actually. It's got some nice moves there, and it can act as a support card too with Nasty Claw. All right, next one we are getting ill. Um, we're getting Pansir, Fungus, Shinx. Meowth, Rolts, Pokemon Center, Vanillish, uh, Ven Vanillish, Amalga, Reverse Holo, Nuzleaf, and Weavile. Sweetie, so I haven't been really seeing any uniques either in the past couple of decks, so I think we're due for one, excluding the Reverse Holo uniques. Um, Ferrisseed, Pikachu, Seedot, Growlithe, Pampaw, Krigatoon, Raichu, Luxio, Reverse Holo, Chubchu, and Wigglytuff. Again, I think I'll just revise. Wigglytuff is a good support Pokemon as well. <laughs> I may actually just troll and just make a full deck of colorless cards because they can be quite handy and with the double colorless energy card, that can be quite strong. Okay, so I might pull a few more to see how... Ooh, nice! Um, Shinx, Pampor, Elegum, Growlithe, Blitzel, Lapras, Sky Arrow Bridge, Prism Energy, Reverse Holo Mushana again, and we've got a Moongus, which we do not own, and that is rare as well. Okay, just, we might open up either one or two more. So, we've got Staryu, Krikatot, Cheeks, Growlithe, Darumaka, Jigglypuff, Silen, then we've got Keela, Reverse Holo Grimer, and Pinsir. So, I'm gonna open up one more so we're evened out the remaining. Um, Fungus. Minfu, Vanillite, Blitzel, Chubchu, Prism Energy, Luxio, Stami, Reverse Holo Sky Arrow Bridge, and a Wigglytuff. So rightio, that's going to be it for the card openings. Um, filter's on, so I shouldn't have to look too far. We'll just go through and knock off any news, just as revision on what this episode brought. Um, really the only rare pull... Oh, I had that as Reverse Holo, but I didn't own it as a normal. I think. I don't know how that works. One of them's reverse hollow, but it's not showing me. That's a troll. Okay, so any more news? But as I was saying before that happened, um, really the only rarity that we pulled this episode was the shiny Zorak, which was, as I mentioned, the secret rare for this collection along with the shiny Embor. So to have pulled that after Shiny Ember, well, two Shiny Embors, is really awesome. So usually in real life you would not get that lucky unless you've got a horseshoe stuck up your ass, like I think I do at the moment. I, I'm yet to extract the horseshoe out of my ass. 
So there's the shiny Zorite for those who just want to look at it again. And that would be it. So I'm just going to go into profile. I mean, our profile has have to have updated to at least 29. Yes, it has. 29%. We're nearing 30%. Milestone is 33%, which would mean we're one third of the way through. So, unique cards, we own 1,148. We own in total 3,524 cards, and so far we've completed Legendary Treasures and the starter deck for Black and White, which was the Extra Drill and Zorak deck. And we own 439 foil cards and counting. So, hopefully, by the end of these booster decks, I'm hoping to add next Destinies to the completed set, so I shouldn't be too far off completing that set. I'm going to quickly have a look off screen to see what I'm missing in regards to that collection and I'll tell you how far off I am to it actually. So anyways, in the next episode we're continuing opening up the next Destiny's booster packs and we'll see if we can come any closer to completing this collection. So until then, this is Lady Crimson saying ciao for now, but not forever. Ciao!